Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had witnessed the birth of a new star civilization, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, star Empire, I guess I could call it. Um, which is the Ketlings. The Ketlings, which were, of course, burrowed underneath the ruins of former civilizations uh, planets, for lack of a better phrase. Um, they apparently had quite a bit of technology they were just hiding away. And now they are out and about and spreading their influence, unfortunately, into directions that we wanted to spread our influence. So I'm kind of scrambling to be able to get that set up. But... They have, we have this guy heading over there. Hopefully it will be in time to get us started going in this direction. And we'll just take what stuff I want and we'll uh, call it good. Yeah. That's what complaining to me. So anyway, other than that, um, we had learned quite a few new technologies. Expanded a little further into this direction. We will continue to do so uh, as far as we can. And uh, cut... Uh, Kind of cut the Spalaxic Empire out of going further this way. So, uh, win, win, win. So, we'll just continue on, and we will see what else happens. We also bought Science Division a, reports a new breakthrough. follower of Numa, who apparently is our species, who's a ne level 9 Shakva. With enhanced mind focus and inner gaze. That sounds like hippy dippy crap. But <laughs> that is what apparently they have. Alright, and we got the dangerous wildlife removal thing learned. Beautiful. Um what else should we work on? Um Stellar expansion would be nice. Um don't necessarily need that yet. Let's work on atmospheric filtering. Yeah, that, that would be good. Uh, adding to habitability, so planets that would otherwise be hard to inhabit will be a little better. Alright, so with that in mind, uh, what was the... There we go. By adjusting atmospheric filtering on a per-site basis to better filter out undesirable elements, Colonial living conditions may be improved. Which is all you can hope for. And really, since there's nothing else going on, it's just waiting for something else to happen. Eventually we'll get there. Eventually. Oh, another old with defects ship. Fair enough. Our starbase in the Wanambis system reports that the Winds of Fortune fleet has evacuated and abandoned a decrepit ship. Now an Unstable orbit around the system's central star. Well, let's go look at it. Uh, we are guy, and we go here, research the project, and then head right back. Cool. Wait, what? Huh. How about that? Following a long period of growing support from the Xeno Rights Center, the Polysimus Syndicate has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they have become more outwardly xenophilic. So they like us now. Nice. I like that. Also, apparently, the Sutherian entity made peace with the Polysimus Syndicate, which they were apparently in war again. Sutherian entity is humiliated, reducing their empire influence gain and population happiness for 10 years, and the Polysimus Syndicate gains a whole bunch of influence. Well, I mean, hey! It was about time that they got their asses humiliated. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Rare crystal manufacturing. Hells yes. That's what I wanted. I just realized I don't have my timer on. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Um, well. 
I have a live timer that's a little more easier to see while I'm recording, and I forgot to turn it on when I started recording. So, I'm five minutes behind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. So, that's done. We'll move on to the next thing of anti-gravity engineering. That's an idea. It's a good idea. It's an idea I enjoy, actually. Uh, nano separators. That is as it takes as many points, but uh, not necessarily something I need. I don't need a lot of uh, alloys floating in my direction yet. Key phrase. Um, the district city housing would be nice, though. That way I have to worry less about housing my people on their planets. So that's good. With directional gravity technology, buildings on the surface of planets can reach higher than ever before without risking structural collapse. The sky is the limit. I would hope so, considering. Um, with that in mind, I want to see how the housing is working in my current capital. Eh, it's okay. It's not great. It's okay. I have jobs that need to be Science done and division. not enough Reports houses for all those jobs. But we'll fix that. Soon enough. Alright. Jiang Zheng has leveled up. Nice. Uh, completed the research of volatile material plants. Good! So we can do that as well. Works for me. Okay. Uh, let's see what we should do. Uh, plasma accelerators would be nice to have now. I'm not going to lie. It would be nice to have right now. There's also quantum field manipulation, which would also be very nice to have right now. As our uh, credits being brought in is now halved again. Uh, another 20% would be nice. Quantum superposition of energy coils simultaneously drained and charged. Okay, well, hey, if it works, if it does the job I want it to do, then let's do it. Let's see why not. Alright, uh, let's move down. And they're working on Oh shit. They already took the one I want. Oh great, and they're moving even further than I thought. Ow. Damn it. Alright, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. They already took the one I wanted the most. They're going to take the other ones I want. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. <sighs> Alright. Well, we're here. And we're building it. And that's the important part. Wait, what? The Yon Alliance wants to declare war. What? Okay, they want to declare war against the Thetherian entity. They're going to seize claimed systems. Why not? Foreign Let's powers do it. are engaging in active hostilities. It's been a while since we've done a war. Let's do it. We're just looking to claim their systems and call it good. That's all we want. That's fine by me. In the meantime, I'm going to send my fleet over to huh where shall I send my fleet I don't know I guess I'll put them here for now until I have a clearer understanding of how the battle is unfolding science division reports a new breakthrough and they're done here good We'll make them finish that up. And then... Uh, hmm. What shall I do from there? I guess... I guess I'll just have him move back to where he was. And then... Start an outpost over here. That's a good idea. Uh, atmospheric filtering. All right, he's already done. That was quick. Damn. Um, what should we move on to next? Good question. Good question. I cannot answer yet. 
cloning. Breakthroughs in enucleation and artificial womb technology allows for the mass production of individuals based on a common genetic template. It's a cool idea. Let's do it. Cloning! Ha-ha! All right. We shall become the Furons. Special project like complete. That. Improved destroyer hulls. That's now the research option. Okay, cool. 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 That's fine by me. All right. Crown Princess Anastasia has leveled up. Nice. Good for her. And we shall move them back here. Perfect. Actually, let's look into how far along we are. Jeez, it's going to take us forever and a half to get there. Jesus. But we will be sorely needed. All right, we'll have them attack the second stellar fleet, which will be a good use of our time. Borders. Oh, the Commonwealth of Man has now opened up their borders. Borders. Blah, blah, blah. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I failed to see why you needed to do that now. But, uh, sure. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. I now have full resources of minerals. Oh, no. It means I have to sell them. Sell them quickly. Get rid as many of them as possible. Get rid of as many as possible. That's the word phrasing I should have used. All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. That is fine by me. Um, hmm. Hey, I can make one last building on Felon Day. Good. Good, 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 good. Question is, what should I make? Um, hmm. Luxury residences. Sure, why not? It add to housing. That's a good thing. And industrial fabricators. No, not yet. Not until I know that I'm getting more crystals coming in, which I do not have yet. Alrighty. Fair enough. Let's see that one planet. Morath 2. It is a... Dry climate desert world currently, but it is also fairly large. It's a planet size of 24. It's a high gravity, too, which also increases the max number of districts. It just increases the cost of everything and lowers the habitability a little bit. But I say it's probably worth probably worth yeah let's terraform it into a continental world I don't see why not especially since I have a fuck ton of credits to do it with I especially don't see why not all right Uh-oh. Who died? Governor Sebastian Duval. Oh, no. It's been an honor. Oh, and he was the governor of Felende. Oh, boy. All right. All right. So we got to find someone who we like. Um...
Well, I mean, we do have Turk, son of Middle. Would be... Probably. Actually, you know what? No. Not quite. Not quite. Put in Ren Yamazaki. Yeah. And then... For... The other sector. For Dawnlight sector. We'll change the leader to Turk, son of Milv. That's good. Alright. Expansion planner. I want to look at the expansion planner real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not a lot of stuff going for me here. Not a lot of anything looking good here. Straddle is a tomb world, but pretty sizable. It also has crystalline caverns and Batharian fields. Oh my goodness, why would I not want to do that if I can get rid of the radioactive crap? Oh, if I only could. Um... Oh, I have to have climate restoration. Yeah, because it's a tomb world, the climate is basically non-existent now. That's right. Crap. Huh. Okay. Well. It's been an honor, sir. Okay. Um, We'll eventually work on that. We'll eventually work on that. It'll be soon. Probably. Soon-ish. But we move on. All right. <laughs> the Sutherian entity is already getting their asses kicked. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Wow. They actually did some damage. Well, shit. My fleet better get there quicker. So far... <laughs> the Yeon were apparently more cocky than they really should have been. Oh, I see what the problem is. Their main fleet is going through this area here to go for the claims. That's what the problem is. That makes sense. Senate has passed the Guardian Angels Act. Alright. Which means the next proposal is Charter of Worker Rights, which is okay. Fine by me. Um... Nah. I'm not gonna open anything else. But we now have open borders with the Ketlings. That's nice. You may move through our pack space. Alright. You may move through our pack space. Just do not attempt to stay. Yeah, these are basically Skaven. <laughs> That's what I said last episode. These are basically Skaven. Fucking saying weird word choices like pack space. And glow warm. Okay. These are basically Skaven. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. All right. Cool. Well, since we're already in their good graces enough that we can pass through their space, that's fine by me. Fine by me. Science division reports a new Hey, we have completed cloning. Nice. Which means we can move on to the next good thing we can do, which is selective defoliance. Thorough cataloging, gene sequencing, and computer modeling of exobotanical ecosystems coupled with gene editing and dispersal mechanisms, will allow us to reshape alien plant communities to our liking. Are you surprised that some of those words I was actually able to say, yet I can't say some simple shit? <laughs> Trust me, I'm surprised too. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, we're going to move on into... Let's look at species. What do we got going on here? Humans are wasteful, but it's fine. Um, have we 
yeah, we set our rights here. We're actually going to go for decent conditions. Yeah, that's a better idea. Let's go for decent conditions instead of... Uh, well, I mean, social welfare would be good, too. Let's go for decent conditions for now. We'll go to decent conditions for now. And human rights, we shall... Oh, we already set them to decent conditions. <laughs> so we set them to decent conditions, but not my own people. Wow, okay. Oh, uh, boy, they probably were not happy that I gave preferential treatment to humans. <laughs> Oops. Uh, anyway. Default? I can edit default rights? What? I could... I didn't know I could do that. Well, let's do that, then. Full military service? Sure. So... Uh, oh, okay. I can't apparently do that. Okay, fair enough. Migration controls we can do. Uh, cool. Colonization allowed. Cool. Full citizenship. There we go. And there we go. Does that change theirs? No, it does not. Okay. But... We'll raise them to full citizenship now. That's good enough. They have been put through enough of the trials and tribulations. Oh, wow. They're already colonizing. Damn. They move fast. Damn, they move fast. Nope. There's a new proposal. Repeal regulatory facilitation. No. Yes, they're trying to turn back everything we've done. You fuck yourselves. All y'all. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, beautiful. Works beautifully for me. Carrier operations. I definitely should start. I should start now. Get that done and over with. So let's see if there's any new scientists that are good. No, <laughs> there are not. Crap. That's going to become a problem soon enough, because most of my scientists are pretty freaking old now. Construction oh complete. Okay, well, this one's done. Nice. Beautiful. All right, in that case, we'll get them started there and then move down here and then we'll eventually take Pulkor it is not a relic it is an antique just think it survived this many centuries already built to last uh, what can you offer us look these exotic gases effervescent compressed to maximum density for logistical convenience highly volatile careful you desire them do you not for your shields your plasma cannons can be yours. It will give you 150 exotic gases if you grant us 15 dark matter. I don't have any of those. Sorry. Uh, just not interested because I don't have that at all. And I won't have it for a very Science long time. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Go without. What do you mean? They're just sitting there. What happened to the fleet they were going to hunt down? Oh, they died. <laughs> The fleet is dead. The fleet they were hunting is no more. Okay. Well, that explains a bit. <laughs> In that case, they shall take the things back. Oh boy. There's so many things going on at once. Alright. Um, they The research for quantum field manipulation is done. That's good. So, what do we move on to from here? I don't know yet. Um, artisan's output, uh, output would be nice. Um, hmm, hmm. Subspace sensors. That would be nice. 
but I think I want to go towards self-evolving logic. Introspective prioritization. More added research alternatives is always a good thing. Because we might find something we actually do want if we are suddenly looking at a page of all stuff that's like, eh, I don't really need this too badly. All right. Oh, the defenders are actually getting away with quite a bit. Yeesh. Well, it's time for me to jump in and save the day. As is my shtick. Um. Hmm. Well. Oh, I didn't realize I had moat harvesting, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dawnlight had that, isn't... Yeah, had the dust desert... Ancient mining site, odd factory, that's right. I remember now. Okay. Um, move on to moat harvesting for now. It had a desert, didn't it? It had a desert. Okay, so that's two of them. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's going to be something. All right. Um. Huh. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, selective defoliance is now done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's work on gene crops now. Why not? Which would be sophisticated genetic engineering of crops helps increase yield and further improves both taste and nutrient levels. Win-win. All right. Is there another new thing? Astral Studies Network. Okay. Isn't it nice to have things? For, in for instance, in the upcoming vote, can we have your support? Astral Studies Network. What is that? Diplomatic weight from tech is increased. Research station output is increased. It just also increases Starbase upkeep. But also increases the planet sensor range. By linking our star bases together into a massive sensor mesh, we can greatly improve the quality of data that we gather. Enhances the effectiveness of the solar panel network, black hole observatory, and listening post starbase modules. Wait, solar panel network. We, we get those back? <laughs> we get those back? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm, I'm supporting this. I'm supporting that. For sure. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I'm moving my feet around so I can be comfortable. Which is, you know, a normal thing for normal people. Ish. Call, call in a favor, huh? Can I call in a favor for that? The boost the diplomatic weight on this resolution. Construction complete. Well, I mean... Call in a favor on that. Just so I make sure that it passes. You know. It's one of those things. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Carrier operations is done. Beautiful. Alright, what is the next thing we move on to? Improved cruiser hulls. Well, I mean... Oh, that one's almost done. Hit the... That's what happens when we get those. We get almost completed... We get almost completed... Uh, research opportunities that then we just finish up within a month. That's cool. That's cool. Let's pull them out. And I might as well start eliminating these. That way, all of these are gone and I can move forward with Camelot being a better planet. Which is always good. Uh, population is okay. Mm hmm. I won't, I won't focus on that yet. I'll focus on altering their stuff yet. But uh, this one is now done with what they were doing. So now I will make them build the mining station and move on to Polkor. Which had that planet we wanted to look into. The Polkor 3 Gaia planet. Sayama. What was that planet that was... Sayama 2. It's red. It's a tundra world. It also has a dust desert. 
Interesting. Interesting. A lot of planets that are prime candidates for terraforming. Another dust... <laughs> another dust desert. Wowzers. I have so many options, and I have so much volatile motes. I was about to say volatile votes, and that's not right. Um, I have so many options in which to get A, volatile motes, and B, new planets. So good. So good. Alright, um... All right. All right, okay. So, we'll just keep moving on. Keep moving forward as we do. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Nice. We finished destroyer hulls. And we... Oh, advanced Corvette hulls. It's pretty cheap. It's rare technology. And it would up the uh, hull points of our Corvettes. Cross-model standardization. Improved production practices allow for greater alterations to synthetic workers without compromising core functionality. I could say all of that, but I couldn't say standardization. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> auto cannons would be a good one. Honestly, auto cannons would be good. Yeah, let's do it. Sure, why not? With auto cannons, large caliber ballistic weapons that fire cased explosive shells. The main advantage of these cannons is their high rate of fire. Which is always good. The Senate floor is in session for the Astral Studies Network. I absolutely am in favor of this. And the only one abstaining is... I can't tell. Uh, who's abstaining again? I think that... Yeah, the sacrosanct... The sacrosanct... The Moid Conclave is the only one that is abstaining. Wow, they have a lot of space that they can work with. Much like us. Although, to be fair, we kind of pushed ourselves to have that much space. But still... We managed it. So really, they're going to be our only real rival. More or less. Okay, anyway, moving on. That's the way I want it. I'm going to keep it that way. Oh, wait. That's right. I forgot. Because I have the hangar bays, I can actually start building them. For those trade hubs, which is what I wanted them for. Because they offer a lot of trade protection. And a extended trade, uh, rather, trade protection range. Especially when I get two more tacked on. Alright. That's all of them. Good. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And five with mine. Awesome. Beautiful. Engaging enemy station. Oh yeah. We're engaging them. I don't know if you can call that an engagement when it was just five seconds, but hey. Huh. Refugees. Plex Credonian refugees. A flotilla of civilian transports carrying Plex Credonian refugees from the Sutherian entity has arrived in our space. They have been allowed to settle on Dawnlight. These unfortunate outcasts were forcefully expelled from their homes by the Sutherian authorities. They have been traveling from system to system since then in a desperate attempt to find new homes before the last of their dwindling supplies were used up. Well, let them come. All right. We'll have them finish up there, and then we'll have them go for a Suth Casa. They construction the complete. rather handily. Alright, all of them are now completed. Good. 
The engineer is done in Pulkor. Fantastic. Build the mining stations. So that way that's done. And then move on to say, um, uh, no, not, I guess not yet, because I don't have the influence for it. But we will eventually. And then we'll go for them. Finish them up. Alright. So. Another starbase. Where should I put it? I guess bead would be a good place for it. Yeah. Especially since I'm intending on having it do trade. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Upgrade that to a starport. Get that done, taken care of. Alright, and they're just going to sit there for now, unless one of these comes running, which they're not. So I'm just going to finish their decision for them. Tell them, hey! I'm trying to fight you here, jackass. There we go. Beautiful. Boop. Have them move over here. Oh, they know my plan. They're already sending a fleet to bolster their capitals, their capital planet, huh? Really? Didn't realize they would have debris that I needed to work on. That's cool. Okay, well, they got done quicker than I thought. Uh, here as well. Well, I'll send them there. But this will probably be done by Fleet then. Fleet action underway. Yeah, it'll be upgraded to a starport by the time. Science that, division that reports by. a new breakthrough. Jesus. We have now <laughs> so many things. Self evolving logic is now completed, which means we can move on to self-aware colony ships interesting uh let's move on to improved reactor boosters which is okay in a, in and of itself out of all the options here the discovery of fusion power allows for better reactor boosters to be fitted onto our ships i don't see why not let's do it and they shall go over here to research this project and this project. And the fleet shall move forward in our initial plan of beating the ever loving shit. Fleet action underway. Out of their fleets. Uh oh. They have more fleets than I they have more fleets here than I thought. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Retreat. Uh-oh. Giovanna Moretti now has the lethargic trait. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Appears to have grown distant and depressed since her defeat in the recent battle that took place in the Suthkasa system. The officers under her command report that the Admiral no longer performs her duties with the same gusto as before. Construction oh, complete. I didn't expect it to be that strong. Ah, jeez. All right. Well, it's cheapest and it's a good it's a good option. So, let's go with vitality boosters. Where the body fails, science intervenes. I like that idea. Oh boy. So, let me get this straight. I had no support at all. I was the only one doing any combat there. Of course. Alright. It returns in two years? Are you, are you kidding me? Space By then, the enemy contact. fucking war will be done. God damn it. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Alright, well. We have completed auto cannons. Good. Um, swarmer missiles. That'd be that'd be a good 
use of our time. Personally, I think. Uh, yeah, swarmer missiles. Let's go with it. These smaller missiles are launched in volleys and have been specifically designed to overwhelm enemy point defense systems. I don't see why not. Let's do it. It's an option. It's all, and options are always good. <sighs> Pisses me off. I had no support going into that. Oh, no. Francois Bergeron. Oh, no. Died at the age of 103. It's been an honor, Bergeron. Physics has no leading scientist right now. And the options are limited. Ah, crap. All right, well. Let's go with Eager. And get him started on that. Alejandra Solano. All right, girl. Let's get going. Taking evasive action. Oh. Exciting news from our fleet admirals is being broadcasted over Felon Day. Our adopted space amoeba, Wraith, has just reached an impressive 100 years of age. Though a grizzled centen centenarian... That's, yeah, that was going to be a word I was going to flub. <laughs> Though a grizzled centenarian, it appears age has proven no impediment to our amoeboid ally. Ally. That's the word I flubbed too? For fuck's sake. <laughs> In fact, our fleet's report Wraith's presence on the battlefield has only grown more formidable over time. Wraith has become a force even the best equipped battleship would have trouble contending with. Seeing her billowing flangella... <laughs> flagella... Enter a system never fails to lift the Felinian spirit. And now at a hundred years of age, Wraith has developed new combat skills and is now, in and of herself, just shy of 5,000 fleet power by herself. Which is awesome. Whoop. Okay, we are now back at having too many minerals. <laughs> Didn't take long. Alright, okay. Did not take long at all. I just realized I am now making <laughs> 145, 145 credits just because my fleet is now basically wiped. Wow. I am so angry at that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, they need to go. They need to go. The Brinkman needs to go. Like, soon. Holy crap. Taking evasive action. Science ship uh -oh. reports enemy contact. Oh, boy. Of course. And the Brinkman was beaten up. Great. At least it'll come back before friggin' the Imperial Fleet will. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Alright. Uh, improved reactor boosters. Nice. The discovery of fusion power allows for better reactor boosters to be fitted onto our ships. Nice. Um, planetary power grid. A re-engineered and unified grid further reduces energy losses over distance. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Oh, man. <laughs> All I have is friggin' materials. <laughs> Scientists. That all I, that's all I have. That's damn. All right. Um, let's move you back to bead. Which, speaking of which... Uh, crew quarters. That's a good idea. And then the trade hubs. And then upgrade you again. There we go. Okay, the Brinkman is back. Repair. 
and damn they are moving way faster than I expected they would be okay let's move them back to EM Yeon Alliance has entered a migration treaty with the Spalaxic Star Nation. Okay, fair enough. And my ships here are nearly done. Oh, man. I'm going to have to recruit a new admiral. Ugh. <sighs> Go with Lan Zhang. Why not? I'm sorry, Giovanna. You have served us well, but we cannot afford any weakness. Alright. And then we do a whole reinforce but let's see what was the worst losses of our fleet oh no the Yojimbo armed escort class caravan destroyer got beat up something fierce uh, okay well here's what it is not much we can do about it oh no the gunslinger armed escort caravan cruiser is gone too oh no Oh, that sucks. All right. Um, okay. More Sutherian entity refugees have arrived on Felon Day. Okay. Okay, it's been fully repaired. Now oh, they came from that planet, huh? Interesting. Let me look at these, uh, look at these Pelks Credonian. They're avian, ingenious, very strong, quarrelsome, and repugnant. Oh, yeah. They have a hell of a face that only a mother would love. But they are very strong. That is good. Don't know if I wanted to give them full citizenship right off the bat. Probably shouldn't have. Okay, and that means I should re reset those edit. Oh, I can't reset it for another five years. Fuck. All right, it's fine. Either way. Oh, there's another thing. Collective waste management. Instead of forcing each mine or factory to bear the burden of dealing with industrial waste themselves, we should designate areas where we can store the leftovers of progress. Aha. Uh -huh. Um just in decreases the habitability of planets. Ah, boy. Unfortunately, everyone seems to be supporting it, so let's go ahead. All right, so... The war is not going well. Not for us, unfortunately. I didn't expect them to have such a strong showing coming back. Science honestly. Division reports a new breakthrough. I didn't expect a strong showing, period. Ships refitted. But they are doing a very strong showing. This is a definite display of force I did not expect. Especially after the Polisima Syndicate was fighting with them. I expected that their ass would just been absolutely destroyed, but I guess not. Alright, so we completed Vitality Boosters. That's good. Uh, what 
do I go with next is a good question. Um, heritage site, why not? Physical reminders of how far we have come both instill of reverence for past achievements and bolster ambitions for the future. Cool, let's do it. All right, um... Yep, they've been fully upgraded, which is good. And now we're just waiting for the refill on forces. It's going to take a while. We have reached 100% war exhaustion in at least one of our wars, which is really the only war we're doing. Uh, Of course, they would vote yes, but they haven't actually done any of it yet. All right. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Well, this will take a while. Swarm of missiles, that's good. <sighs> Autonomous mining drones, let's do that. Um... Fleets of autonomous drones equipped with mining beams are deployed to quickly and efficiently gather nearby minerals. Which is good. Alright. So, we're in trouble with the war. Uh, at least until I get my fleet back up and running, which will take a while. Um, they had a lot stronger of a presence than I figured they would. Which is the majority of the problem. But, here's hoping that we can very quickly uh, dispatch them one way or another. Um, <laughs> question is, when? Uh, create new... Fleet of these, I guess. I'll start this and there we go. That's good. Start them and Reinforcing the fleet will be difficult, I'm sure. <sighs> okay. I'll work on this. <laughs> In the future. We need some way, shape, or form of beating them back. Because right now, unless we get them to status quo, we're not going to win this war. <laughs> This war was a disaster. And I don't know why I followed the Yon into it, but we'll fix it eventually. Hopefully soon. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and looking at a losing battle. In a losing war, we have decided to get into with the Sutherian Entity, which is funny because I figured they would have had their ass very cleanly handed to them by the Polysimus Syndicate. Apparently, they didn't do as good a job as I thought. So, uh, we're going to have to work on getting that fixed up soon by doing the job ourselves. Once we get our fleet back up. For you!